Come and get it, come and get it With Peter Russell Clark In the city or the outback He's Australia's brightest spark Come and get it, come and get it Good food you love to eat Come and get it, come and get it And there's people you can meet Cook a shark or make a damper Feed your ego, pack a hamper On a farm or out at sea Learn a recipe or three Come and get it with Peter G'day. Russell. G'day. Clark. G'day. That's me on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> no, it's not. That's me on top of sodium chloride. Well, what's sodium chloride? The name of mountain? No, it's not. Sodium chloride is table salt. <laughs> Just straight table salt. And most of us eat too much salt, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't know where it comes from. But listen, he's obviously trying to tell us something, that little bloke on the top of the hill. So I suppose maybe I should stop talking and we go and listen to him. I think he's telling us that salt's been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years and it comes from the sea. But look, hang on, he's got sulky. No, we better go and listen to him. So you saw all those holding ponds. Well, the water's pumped in from Carayo Bay and Port Phillip the water evaporates, right, so you get more salt as more water comes in until eventually it's quite laden with salt. It's then pumped into other holding vats. With these big pumps and through these pipes, it's channeled into other holding vats where it's allowed to evaporate even more until you end up with just the crystallised salt like this. All that salt is picked up by enormous big machines, popped onto sort of Luna Park type conveyor belts where it goes for a ride until finally it's just dropped into enormous big piles of salt ready for you to pile onto your steak and kidney pie. From here it then goes into a factory where it's simply crushed up into fine table salt or left in rock salt like this, right? You see? So there it is, that's salt. And I've got to tell you, there's a lot of salt there. But salt is really even more important than we realise. You see, salt. Now, what that does is it makes the gluten in flour more elastic. So you see, salt really is important. In fact, it's been the most important condiment in the world. You know, the Roman soldiers, they used to receive a salarium. <laughs> that's not a sunroom, a salarium was their salary. That's where the word salary, that's not salary that goes crunch, crunch. That's salary that you pay someone or you get and give someone else. Anyway, that's where salary came from, salarium. Also, I suppose it came from the word sun because they, they got the salt by putting it out in, in big flat pans like we've just seen and uh, evaporate the water off. Anyway, who cares? Let's go down to something more practical. Get your salt and shove some herbs in it. That's just extending the flavour of it. So you get some salt like that and you can throw in uh, a few basil leaves to sprinkle it in, mix it around. Here we've got some rosemary, mix into there, which would go very well, rosemary with lamb, and some thyme, if we've got time to put it in, haha, -ha, bit of a joke, stir that around, and we can sprinkle that onto that little number there, like that, you see? Oh, by the way, a lot of people think rock salt comes from crushing up white rocks. It doesn't. It comes from ordinary salt, which has, has got more impurities in it than the refined one. You see, they just don't crush it up as much. So this has got a few more impurities like seaweed and seagull poop and a few things like that. But it's very, very good, got a nice flavour, and you can mix your herbs in that as well. Righto, I think I might actually go back to that salt place and just have a look at it. Come on. Here we go. That's not dust all over the place, by the way. That's salt. See, this is where they grind it down to make it fine. But anyway, the salt's brought in. It's washed to get rid of any of the seagulls' uh, uh, footsteps. <laughs> and then it's just popped into, well, all sorts of packages. Either enormous big bags, well, like that, or, and that's, by the way, fine salt, as you can see, or it's coarse salt or whatever, uh, it's put into big bags, or just little boxes like this. Or, of course, there's cooking salt, you know, just cooking salt, so that goes off to the kitchen. Or the salt like that, which is pretty special. That's a salt lick. That goes into the, the paddocks for the cows, right? Eh? And I suppose that's where I better get back to. See you later. Come and get it with Peter. Good day. Russell. Good day. Clark.